everybody, what's up? Disturbing Creations here, and today we're going to be changing the brakes on the Audi here. This is an Audi A6 Quattro, and I'm going to show you how to do the pads, the calipers, and the rotors today. So let's get this wheel off and get some work done. So the first thing we're gonna do is make sure that we have the jack secured under the pitch point under here where you're supposed to jack up your Audi properly. Then we're gonna take the lug nuts out. Well, not out, we're gonna crack the lug nuts. So this is the lug and um, stem together. You're gonna take a 17 here, up socket, and you're gonna crack them all and make them loose. While your tire's touching the ground, Otherwise, your tire's just gonna spin. Now, if you have a pneumatic gun or an electric gun, it doesn't matter if your tire is up because the torque of the gun will spin it off anyway. But if you're doing this by hand with one of these, you're gonna leave your tire on the ground, crack these, jack up. When your tire comes up, you're gonna take the studs out, pull the wheel off, and then you're gonna see the brakes. This is the stage you're at when you get the um, wheel off. Now, I only have three wheel studs because we've used some of these parts off of this car already and um, I don't advise you to ever drive with three wheel lugs but this car is going to scrap so I always put my wheel studs lugs back in so that I know where they are and they hold the rotor on so it doesn't flop around um, now this is the caliper and we're going to be removing these two bolts in the back so first thing we're going to do is we're going to pull this up and then there's gonna be this brace rail underneath. Now, if you're just changing the pads, you only need to pull this up, leave everything else on and put the pads on. I don't advise doing that. I advise you to either get your rotors cut or to get new rotors every time you get pads because if this has lines in it, it'll wear your pads out a lot faster. So let's go ahead and get this up. I'm gonna show you my little trick on how to get these two bolts out back here. And then we're gonna pry this thing off. Okay, so inside the cap behind the caliper, here's 113 and here's another. But there's all this stuff in the way, so I'm gonna show you a trick to get this one out without having to use a screwdriver. So I use a quarter inch ratchet and you don't need an extension on this one. So you can go ahead and get that one right off. So I've already cracked them open. There's that one. Now this is the one I want you to pay attention to. So you need a three inch extension and a 13. And I use the small quarter inch to do this cause I can get it in. And you find the bolt and you sneak it above this line and below this. So you're gonna go under here above this line and it'll fit right on the bolt right there. And I just push it down a little bit so it's straight. Just hammer a little bit so you can see. And then I just put the chrome to get it off. Yeah. So you see where I'm at? I'm just under this stuff. You can't get, I mean, you can get a wrench in here, but it only goes so far back, and then you're going to be hitting this as well. So once I can get it off my finger, then I just take this stuff out and then finish it off and then we're gonna pull the caliper up. Okay, so since we got the two, I'm going to go ahead and get the smallest pry bar that I have, and I'm gonna go in between these two pieces and just go up a little bit, not too much, because if you go too much this way, you'll pinch this side together and you won't be able to lift on that side. So then we just see how it's pinching, Now watch if I go too much. Then if I go too much, I, I don't have anything to get in here, you know? So you just wanna go a little bit, a little bit. You know, and it'll start to slide out. Ooh. And then there it is. Now don't let this go and don't drop it because you're still attached by the brake line here where you get the brake fluid into your caliper and the emergency brake. So we're gonna take this and put it on top of the traction bar here in the back and let it sit. 
Now, if you didn't have a traction bar here, you could get a bungee or a little piece of rope or anything and go ahead and tie that up. But you don't want to put stress on some of this stuff. Now, at this point here, you can go ahead and pull your pads out and inspect them. And these are worn down to nothing, so they're no good anymore. There's hardly any pad even on there. So if I just wanted to, what's called pad slap, put new pads on, I would go ahead and put the pads on at this time uh, and then put the caliper back on. But I don't like to do that. I change the rotor as well, especially if your pads are looking this bad and your rotor's looking this bad, you know? So we're gonna go ahead and get this brace off now. This is the brace that holds on the caliper, holds the caliper on, on place because it's a floating caliper. And to get the rotor, you have to take this brace off. So let's go ahead and get this brace off. Now in the back here, it is eight millimeter and it is an eight millimeter Allen. So I have an eight millimeter Allen with a socket because it's too hard to break with just a, a, one of those L Allens. So I'll show you in the back where the bolts are. I'm just gonna crack those two and then we're gonna take this off as well. So let's look in the back and see what they look like. Okay, so now that we're back here, I'm gonna show you this one that my finger is on here. There it is. So that is an Allen right there. I can't get the, I can't get in here to show you any better of an angle. And then here's the second one right underneath it. If I can find, it's hard to look backwards. So here's one, you see it connects to the brace. So here's one and follow up. And here's the second one. So we're gonna take those two off, eight Allen, and this whole brace is gonna come out. So maybe you can see from the side over here a little better. So we just follow the leg of the brace down and the bolt's there. Follow the leg of the brace down and the bolt's there. Now let's get a better look at this piece. <clears throat> so this was facing away from you like this and the rotor's in the middle. And you remember you took these two 13s off to get the caliper out. Then these underneath, I said follow it down, follow it down, are the two Allens. So you just back them out. And then this will slide off. I just always put the bolts back in the same hole so I know where they're at when I change it out. And then it'll be free right here. And then all you gotta do if your rotor is like, this one's rusted on, so I gotta hit it with a hammer to get it off. But if yours isn't in this bad a condition, yours will just fall right off. And then um, this will be the end of the video for you. So if you're only doing rotors and, um, and the brake pads, then this will be the end of the video for you. But if you have to change your caliper, well then this is where the video is gonna get good because to change the caliper, you gotta get the brake line off the hose and you have to get the emergency cable off as well. And they're a little bit of a pain. The brake line, the hose is easy, but the um, emergency brake is a little harder. Uh, you have to take a spring out and I'm gonna show you it right now. Please pay attention when you're doing this kind of stuff. You do not want one of these things to snap off and hit you. The spring could hit you in the face. Always wear protective safety gear, eye goggles, gloves, whatever you need to do but uh, always pay attention. Now let's get some work done. All right, so on the bottom under here where the hose comes down, this is a 13. It's kind of a pain in the butt unless you're under the car, then you can actually get to it. So we're just gonna take that banjo bolt out and it might leak. So you wanna have something underneath the catch so we just have this old pot to catch under here and then uh we'll take this off and then we'll get to the other piece and this is how you get the caliper so even though you get the caliper off the car you still got to get this this stuff off so this is the banjo bolt now this one's on here pretty good but i wanted to show you there's a washer here it's called a crush washer this one's on here pretty good. And then there's one on this side as well. So usually when you undo this, you buy new crush washers to put this back on so this does not leak. 
And usually this will just fall off, but this one looks like it's pretty crusty. You'd have to unscrew the washer off of this. So then the last thing is just the uh, piece here. So we're gonna have to pull this out. So what I like to do is I like to get a, a pair of grips and grab the spring. Um, so this one only goes this way, but this one goes around. So it connects right here. Once you pin, once you pinch this, you can pull this back section up and this will come out. Just be very, very careful. This doesn't come off and smack one of your fingers. Once you do that, then this will move a little easier. Now I'll show you how to get this piece off. And then the caliper's out. All right, let's tackle that spring. So I get my channel locks and I put it about halfway. And then I get on here. I better put it a little bit, a little better. So I try to get right on there. This is ridiculous. Yeah, this, this is such a pain in the butt right here. So I'm trying to grab this tab right here, move it over and hold it in the same place while I push the arm down. And it really is a pain in the butt. You just gotta get lucky. So you gotta, gotta move it over and then you gotta push this window down. Okay, so this is what we're left with now. We've got the um, both cable, the cable and the the bat, the um, hose taken out here. Uh, we have this spring that we should probably save. Now, if you go take your caliper in and get a new one, don't you don't have to give them this spring. I would keep this spring because if something happens and you're ever taking your spring off and it snaps or breaks, then you have a, a spare. Um, then we have the, 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 the brace that goes on, the caliper brace or bracket, and we have the bolts that go from this to this. Now, again, if you have to get a new caliper, make sure you do not give them your bracket if your bracket still works. And what I mean is, you see right here how this sliders move? You need to pull this apart, pull this out, and re-grease the, 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 um, the pieces in here. Let me pull one out for you. So you pull this plastic off and you get a rebuild kit. And sometimes the rebuild kits will give you new pins. Um, sometimes they'll just give you these boots and like some grease. Clean all this grease off. Clean all the grease out of there, stick a little Q-tip in there, two or three, and it'll get it all out. Pour some new grease in there and put a new pin in. Sometimes I'll give you new bolts. This is just a bolt as well with this pin head. And then you'll get new uh, rubber bushings here and you'll put that all back together. Hi, huh, buddy. And little buddy. And then um, you can rebuild this part of the caliper as well. But if you give this to them with the caliper, you're only gonna get this. Then you're gonna have to buy this again. Sometimes the caliper is good and just this will mess up and it won't slide anymore and you'll have one that's sliding, you know, see how this one's sliding in and out, slow. And then one will just be, oh, this one, okay. One will just be stuck. And then your, your caliper will be sideways. But sometimes you could just take this and get a new one of these. So you have to look and see what the problem is before you do anything. Now, when you put this stuff back, you just, Follow what I did and go backwards. You put the cable back on and the hose back on here. You're gonna put the rotor on. Then you're gonna put the calip the bracket on top of the, the rotor back on. You know, the or this way, the right way. Then you're gonna put the caliper back on that. And then um, get your spring and everything on and you're good to go. So I hope this hooks you up, saves you some money. Give us a like and subscribe. Hope this builds your confidence. And now you can do your breaks on your own.